all right welcome back before we proceed with the course there are certain requirements for your fmc's so fmc takes a lot of resources so if you are installing virtually especially the kvm or virtual uh, virtual means uh, esxi workstation or uh, your vcenter so kvm you can use it on your evng or uh, gns3 all right so there are certain requirements what you can do with respect to your virtual fmc the resources you need is much more higher because fmc if you are using fmc in a evaluation mode then you can only manage two ftds and according to the license if you install your license then up to 25 devices you can manage 25 ftds you can manage but if there is one more uh, FMC that is FMC 300 okay and it is very powerful because it can manage up to 300 devices FTDs all right for now we are not interested in this one but we are interested in this one virtually the evaluation one special for the evaluation one for the virtual uh, FMC you need four CPUs 32 GB of RAM and 250 GB of hard disk but you don't need the 32 GB if you are uh, doing this CCNP course. So I think 8 GB should be fine. That's good enough. If you have 16 GB, still better. But 8 GB is good and fine. 250 GB hard disk, even if you are using your uh, even your KVM, you need not worry about that one. So you should worry about your four, four virtual CPUs and 8 GB of RAM because we are doing in the even and GNS3. If you're doing in your ESXi still the resources are the same four CPUs 8 GB of RAM and at least 200 GB of hard disk and the workstation is also the same and if you're installing via vCenter server it's all the same resources, resources are the same 8 GB of RAM should be fine if you have a RAM then you can go ahead with the 16 GB otherwise all good with 8 GB and now coming with this one as i said that fmc 300 this is the beast which needs the 32 virtual cpus 64 gb of ram and 2 tb of hard disk because you are going to manage 300 devices and it will be very expensive in terms of purchasing the virtual device and in terms of licensing also so it is only for the very large enterprises it's only for the very very large enterprises because for the medium to the large also still 25 devices i think that should be enough but for the very large enterprises then you they might need up to like 50 100 or 200 it depends on that because they are going to manage the different data centers that is where the ftds comes they need more of the ftds if it's uh, they are going to use in the data center so that's all for this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.